hello and welcome back to my channel my name is Anne. i'm a fashion designer and a craft addict so today i'll be sharing with you how to make this stylish two ruffled sleeve if you're interested please stay to the end now let's begin before we begin we'll start by drafting a cap sleeve so these are the materials i'll be using this is a pigmented tool because it has um, glitters on one side of it then i'll be using satin as the main fabric where i'll gather the tools on then cutting lining for turning because this thing can be very inconveniencing when um, a child wears it so it's better to just cover it up with cotton fabric so that what they feel on their skin is cotton and on the outside we have spiky too basically there are two ways to draft a cap sleeve if your cap sleeve will be going around your arm circumference you use an already drafted basic sleeve to draft your cap sleeve. But if you would like your cap sleeve to be halfway around the arm circumference, then you just measure your cap's height and the width of the sleeve. So today we are not using cap sleeve that will go all around the armhole. I'm just using the half cap sleeve. First of all, we'll be needing our cap's height. And cap's height is the bust circumference divided by 12 plus 0 0.5 the bust circumference i'm using here is 24 24 divided by 12 is 2 2 plus 0 0.5 is 2.5 so the cap height i'll be using here is 2.5 after marking your cap height you make a straight line Next, you measure your arm circumference and divide by 4. So the arm circumference I'm using is 14. 14 divided by 4 is 3.5. So I'll just be marking 3.5 here. Now using my French curve, I'll curve from this top to this point. You can just freehand or you use your... French curve to, to do it. I'll just go ahead and trim this out. And this is our cap sleeve. Notes, this part is on fold. And when you are cutting on your fabric, you leave half inch all the way round. Aside this place that is on fold, you leave half inch here and half inch underneath because we'll be using the half inch. We'll be using the half inch here to join to the sleeve and we'll use the half inch here to turn the lining. So I'll just go ahead and cut on my fabric now. I cut one for lining, one for the main fabric. So after cutting, I'll just go ahead and do some markings on the main sleeve this is how it looks like when you open it but first i'll notch the middle because i'll need that midpoint when i want to sew onto the when i want to sew the sleeve on so i'll just open this up and do my marking at the top here i'll leave half inch round i'll leave half inch all round for joining and i'll leave half inch at the bottom for turning with my lining then in between I'll mark, I'll mark half half inch because I'll be separating the the gathers using half inch. So when I sew onto this first line, the next one I'll be sewing is half inch away from the first one. You can use as much as one inch, but I want it fully covered and it's for a baby. That's why I'm using as little as half inch. So next I'll just cut the strips for my ruffles and I'll be cutting on the two. Now I want to cut the strips. I'll first of all make a straight line. Now from this straight line, I'll be measuring the width of my strip. And it depends on how wide you want it to be. But for this leaf, I'm using 2.5 inches. So from the guideline I made at the top, I'll just mark 2.5 inch. And I'm marking lightly. I know you can't see it. But um, 
I'm just being careful because this is a white tool and what I have is a colored chalk. So I'm just marking lightly. So I'll join these two with a very faint line. And I'll go ahead and cut. The essence of this is to have a straight edge when I'm cutting. Now I'll just go ahead and cut the 2.5 marking. So because I don't want to make multiple lines using that colored chalk, I'll just place this on this. And I'll cut. So I'll just continue like that. I'll keep placing. I'll place and cut until I get the number of strips I need, until I get enough of the strips. I have gone ahead to do my markings. Don't mind these lines. The ruffles definitely will cover it, but I'll try and clean as much as I can when I'm done sewing. So I did my markings and I'll be sewing my ruffles on these lines here, aside this one. I'll sew my ruffles on these four lines, the same thing here. One, two, three, four. But before I start sewing my ruffles, I will be changing this foot to a gathering foot. So if you have a gathering foot, better for you. Instead of making gathering stitch and pulling, it's going to be so much work. So I'll just change to my gathering foot. Now I'll be taking my strips one by one. Note, one side of this tool is pigmented. So I'm just making sure that I'm sewing on the right side. So I'll just go ahead and place my strip like this. And I'll keep my hand straight so that the I stay in the middle because it has to be in the middle. After making the ruffles, this is what it looks like. So it's a very long strip. Now I'll be starting from this half inch mark here. And I'm done with the first line of ruffle. Next I'm going in on the second line. After gathering all on all the lines, this is this is how on this top I'll still go ahead and trim off this on even spikes. So for now, this is the inside. For now, I'll just be turning with the lining. I'll place my lining this way and move the two out of the way. Make sure you move the two out of the way. Now I'll just top stitch on the lining. So after turning the lining over, I'll hold it together with the main fabric and sew on this half inch before I attach to my sleeve. I have gone ahead to notch the middle. And now this midpoint, I'll pin it to the middle of the sleeve. That is where the stitch is. So I'll pin it right sides facing each other. Then the cap sleeve is halfway. I'll just hold it and sew it all the way. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. And this is our sleeve. We are done with this tutorial. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't, kindly subscribe, share, and turn on your notification bell so that you get notified when I upload a new video. Thank you for watching.
Bye.